Hi guys, it's Jessie here. Um, today I want to do a video blog about something I've seen on the news a lot lately and also on TV on the Tyra Show. Um, it's also been in The Advocate and it's about how people are saying gay is the new black. Um, for anyone who hasn't um, seen this before, it's about how gay people in the world now are being segregated and treated unfairly the way that black people were um, a few years ago. So, um, kind of give you a little bit of my opinion and what I think about it. Uh, hopefully you agree and I welcome, I welcome any comments that anyone might have, but let's try to keep it positive, guys. Okay, so the first thing that I want to address um, is YouTube. I found great stuff on YouTube, I found bad stuff on YouTube, I've kind of found a little bit of everything. Um, now the first two pages that I really want to address are the Human Rights Campaign Media page. Um, I found some stuff on there, they're all pro, uh, pro-gay pro community, pro-marriage, pro-everything. It was tastefully done, I didn't find it offensive, I found they got their point across and it was really great. The next page that I want to address is the HRC Exposed page. Um, so now I watched the video a couple times and I kind of, I actually have it right now in the background so I can kind of take points from it, but the first point that they make in their video is that having a gay family, two dads or two moms, would take children out of a home that has a loving mom and dad as if that they would be missing out on something by not having a mom or a dad. Well, in the States as well as Canada, there are a lot of single moms out there who are single income moms or single income dads that they don't have a second partner to be there to take care of them or to be a partner to them or their children. So there's a lot of kids that grow up nowadays in heterosexual relationships that don't have a mom and a dad. I grew up without a mom and a dad and I turned out fine um, and I'm I'm sure I understand what they're saying about missing out on having a mom and a dad but I think that a gay couple is just as capable of being a parent as two straight people. They are just as loving, just as kind, just as caring and they'll have just as many problems as any straight family would have with children. They're still going to have to deal with the the ups and downs of having kids just like any straight couple would. Um, their sexual preference really isn't an issue um, in raising a child. I mean they're still going to be loving and kind and caring to their child. Being um, a homosexual doesn't make you into some kind of a bad person or a pervert or unable to have a job or take care of kids or a family or be a loving partner or a loving son or a loving daughter or a loving friend or anything. Um, the second part of it that I wanted to touch on, they bring up lineage. Now I support the idea of gay families having children. I mean, when you love someone and you want to have a life with them, you want to have a family with them, and I support that. If that means having a surrogate to have a baby for you, or maybe it means adoption, which I think is the best way to go. There's so many kids out there who could use a loving family, whether it's two dads, two moms, or a mom and a dad, or just a mom, or just a dad, or a dad with three dogs. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean there's lots of options but it does bring up the fact that some children who are brought into these homes through surrogacy with artificial insemination and unknown donors, um, it does bring up a lineage issue. Now I'm sure that someone somewhere could come up with a system that everyone has documentation of their lineage so you know in five years you don't find out that you are married to your half brother and I don't know, it could have been prevented because that they both have the same sperm donor or the same um, surrogate mom. I mean, there are ways to get around that and I doubt it would ever happen, but the one in 50 million chance that it would happen would be a reason for someone to be against it in the gay community. So that's the first thing that I wanted to address with that one. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is right off the Tyra show. Now I watched this show and the last portion of the show had me all in a fever because 
um, there was a woman on who is very obviously anti-gay and she said something that really got me worked up. She said, you can choose to be gay, but you can't choose to be black. And I am neither gay nor black, and I was really offended by that comment because, um, I mean, science hasn't shown whether you're born gay or you choose to be gay or something in your life happens to make you gay, but no matter what, um, no matter what happens or why you're gay, that's who you are and you should be proud of it and it shouldn't change how we treat people whether they were born or made the choice to be gay doesn't make them any less of a person if I woke up tomorrow and I decided to be gay that doesn't make me any less of a person tomorrow than it does today I mean I just I found it so shallow minded and repulsive that someone could say well you're making a choice to be this way Therefore, that makes it okay for me to treat you badly, and that is so unacceptable because it isn't, it isn't a choice, and even if it is a choice, it's still not a good reason, it's still not an excuse that this woman was looking for, an excuse for why she could treat people who are gay like second-class citizens, and almost as though if we pressured people who are gay into being straight or made them feel guilty about it, and take away their civil rights that will almost force them to be straight and I think that that's really terrible too so if I woke up tomorrow and I decided to be gay I hope that someone would support me in my decision and that they would treat me no differently than they do today I'm still the same person just who I choose to partner with is different and to be honest I'm sure that in my life I've made decisions to be with people who even being a straight person, I could have made better choices, but everyone has to love somebody and you really can't choose who you love. So I saw a clip on YouTube of The View and they brought up a really interesting idea for me that um, people might actually have a problem with the word marriage. That maybe they don't have a problem with the union or the partnership of two men or two women being in a relationship, um, maybe they are not against it, maybe they're for it, maybe they're for uh, gay couples having the same union rights and same privileges of being married, uh, but they might have an issue with the actual definition of marriage because it's between a man and a woman, the union of a man and a woman. So if that is the case, um, the the depth needed for this subject obviously is very large but um, I think that we could come up with something I mean it doesn't have to be marriage it could be a partnership or um, a unionship or well, like there's a million words we could use to describe the union of two men or two women being in a relationship in a committed loving relationship with that kind of bond that would also entitle them to all of the benefits of marriage maybe without calling it a marriage um, they still want to be entitled to you know like even even stupid things like taking each other's last name now I don't know if anyone knows this but if you book two tickets on an airplane you and your partner or you and your best friend or you and whoever and your last names aren't the same if you don't specifically request that your seats be together they'll separate you um, and they'll actually go through the list of air um, airline passengers and pair up the married couples first or the people who have similar names they'll actually go through and pair them up in seating and you can end up sitting on a different end of a plane than your spouse or your partner just because you don't have the same last name and that's that's a minor privilege of being in a relationship with somebody that you love and care about I mean that's just something tiny and minuscule. I mean, benefits like health care and dental are huge in the States. I'm from Canada and it's a little bit different, a little bit um, a different setup here with benefits and health benefits and dentists and stuff. But in the States, that's huge. If your partner has coverage for those things and auto insurance and home insurance and buying a home and how you qualify for a home, um, I think that that's something that they should be entitled to as well I mean if that's the person you want to spend the rest of your life with you should be able to have anything that you want to have with that partner and 
like just even just taking a name something as simple as having your partner's name if that's what you so choose or hyphenations or whatever option that you want to go with I mean that's a big deal so that brings me to should gay couples be allowed to marry and I think by now that you know that I'm gonna say yes um, whether or not they use the term married or not uh, I think that gay couples should have just the same rights as a heterosexual couples I mean good grief look at the divorce rates that we have right now of over 50 percent of couples who are married are um, divorced within the first three years now do you think that they have any better or any less of a chance they couldn't have any worse of a chance than heterosexual couples for divorce I mean um, they they have to have at least the same if not better and I think that anyone who wants to be partnered with someone for the rest of their lives should have that option um, so another thing that I saw that I kind of was wondering is if some people are worried that being gay and being married and gay would somehow affect the sanctity or the um, purity of their heterosexual relationships I don't think that it will affect it in any way shape or form if someone is paired with someone and you've been living with them for 50 years at the end of the 50 years it really doesn't ma matter if you are married or not but if you're still with that person and you love them that's all that really matters so I don't think for all you people out there who are worried about gay couples tarnishing um, your pure marriage titles I don't think you have anything to worry about my final thoughts are not really um, they're not really directed at anything but they're more of an observation I see people on shows like the Tyra show where they're anti-gay and they're really worked up and they're really taking it personally that people are gay and they make it almost like a personal vendetta and make it their personal business and almost take it as a personal insult that these people have become this way or been this way or choose to be this way or um, that's how they're living their life and people become really offended by it and take it very personally and how unhappy are you with yourself that you're so against this um, and and really what gives you the right to be self-important enough that you can say you know God says it's not okay or the law says it's not okay or I say that you shouldn't be gay you should choose to be straight or you you can't you can't be gay because it's not right I think that we have come so far as a culture that we should be able to accept everyone whether they are gay or straight or transgendered could you imagine how hard it would be to be transgendered and to decide to come out and have that operation and to completely change your entire life um, even if everyone you knew was a hundred percent supportive just how hard that would be in your own self to deal with that um, I hope that someday we're able to just sit around a campfire and sing kumbaya but realistically there are just some people out there who as my dad would put it just like to bitch and make other people um, other people's business their business because they're not happy in their own lives um, and to me I don't see gay people running their mouth and calling names and being rude and hateful and ugly um, I see the straight people being very hateful and ugly towards the gay community and um, a lot of them are the people who profess to be quite religious and um, and that's not really religious behavior the way God would want you to be either I mean um, he made us in his image and everyone is made equally and you need to remember that before that you say hurtful or hateful things to someone and act ugly um, I'd like to hear uh, or have a debate with everyone about this if there's anyone who supports me and my opinions I'd like to hear that and if you don't I would love to hear why you disagree with me and um, I'd, l I'd like to have a real debate about this so if you guys want to leave me a comment or make a video response to this I will watch them and respond as I can and um, I really want to get the ball rolling with this and hopefully we can make a change thanks guys have a good day